Hey, Sports Court fans, it's John Wade Boggs fan. Hope you're all doing well. Just under three months ago, I put together a new target list of mine, 100 cards for $10,000. And I have to say, I think I've done pretty well so far in picking up cards off that list. Now, the Strongsville show certainly helped, but to date, I have picked up 17 cards off that list, and that's the card number 17 that I'm going to show off in this video, and it's the 1964 Topps Warren Spawn. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show it off. Here it is. Managed to pick this one up in a PSA 5. Really like the overall centering of it. Uh, the thing I like about the 64 top set is, I don't know if they do it for every card, but most of the cards, uh, the, the player is shown into the top border, sort of not quite giving it a 3D effect, but just a little bit different. Um, I don't think you see that in any other uh, vintage sets, at least from the 50s, 60s, maybe even into the 70s, where uh, the player's picture goes into the border of the card. So one of the, I think, unique things about the 1964 top set, at least, uh, that I like. And here is the back. Pretty clean. Sometimes for these uh, 64s, uh, the back, uh, the, the coloring seems to be a bit faded for some of them as opposed to maybe like a, a, a dark uh, orange. Uh, but this one is, this is fine with me, well-centered. Again, overall, nice copy there of the Warren Spawn card. Now, before I get into all the numbers uh, behind this uh, and the, this particular purchase and uh, the 17 cards now that I have picked up, I thought I would show off some of the other 64 Tops cards that I have in my collection. I don't have a whole lot, uh, but thought I would just show them off uh, really quickly here. I have a Lou Brock. I have, of course, a Ernie Banks. Again, showing that, you know, a little bit into the board, top border there. That's one of my favorite Ernie Banks cards. Again, just, just love that, that portrait image of him. He's not smiling. Most of his cards, he's, he's smiling. It's a little bit more serious look for Ernie Banks, but I still like the overall look of that card. And then we have Harmon Killebrew. Again, they have his cap. Uh, above or outside the border there, but not his bat. They just, I don't know, they kept that inside the border, but his uh, cap um, over the border. And of course, I do have a Corey Stremski. I have a Hank Aaron. You can see, I think all these are either fours or fives. Well, the the Karl Stromski was a, a six. And then next to last here that I want to show off is the Pete Rose. Most people think this is his nicer card uh, over his rookie card. Just love that image of Rose. Now it is sort of hard to tell, but his cap uh, is over the. The border there you can s sort of see the the lines in the the cincinnati cap there uh, go beyond the border and of course that rookie uh rookie cup logo there uh, just makes that card extra special now the last card i want to show off is technically a 64 tops card that i own it is not graded but it may be probably one of my uh, favorite or special 1964 cards in my collection and it is this severely miscut Mickey Mantle card as you can see here uh, the top of the Yankees is cut off and you can sort of see the beginnings I don't know if that's athletics uh, maybe an A's player that was on the bottom of that sheet there uh, but severely miscut. But what makes this card uh, so special to me is this was a card I worked out in a trade uh, with a neighbor, a uh, friend of mine, a school uh, classmate, um, and he had a bunch of 64 Tops cards 
that were either his cousins or aunts or uncles or something, some family member, gave him the him. He really didn't care too much about. I think I traded some Phillies or Steelers uh, baseball or football cards for a group of uh, these 64 Tops cards. And one of the cards in that, uh, one of them was a really beat up Yogi Berra card, which I still have, but was this Mickey Mantle card. And we're probably talking about this taking place uh, early 80s, maybe when I was 10 years old. So uh, for a 10 year old to say that he owned a Mickey Mantle card, even though it is severely miscut, I I'm not even going to bother sending this in for grading. Um, the back though, is obviously it's, it's miscut as well, but all the information is there. Um, but I don't know, I, I think there, there aren't too many creases, that there's some corner wear, but other than the miscut, uh, it's in, I guess, decent shape. Uh, there, may, there may be a crease up there, though that may be the, uh, uh, the card saver here. But anyway, this is my favorite uh, 1964 Topps card because it was my first Mickey Mantle card as a kid. All right, back to the 1964 Topps Warren Spawn. Now, on my list of 100 cards for $10,000, I had this at a PSA 7 for $100. As you can see, I didn't buy a PSA 7, I bought a PSA 5, and all in shipping and tax, I spent only $35 on this PSA 5. So I saved by dropping down two grades and still got a really nice looking 64 Tops Warren Spawn, in my opinion, has to me, it has great eye appeal, which is all I'm looking for. Um, I saved $65 over what I had it on my list. Now, as PSA 5 copies go, on the low end, they're selling for around $23 on average maybe 30 and on the high end 45 so for me spending 35 dollars including shipping and tax i think i won the auction for probably around that 30 dollar range so i was right in the middle of comps which makes me happy um, now through 17 cards this is card number 17 through the 17 cards that i've picked up so far i thought i would have to spend $1,500 based on the grade that I assigned it on that list. Well, to date, I've only spent $800, so I am $700 to the good. So not only am I making good progress in picking up the cards, and this 100 card list was put together and designed uh, to have cards to, that are affordable to me within my budget. So I'm able to pick up, you know, maybe one or two uh, every, you know, couple weeks type of thing, depending on what I find on eBay. And uh, I've been, I've been moving away from looking at the buy it now listings on eBay. I'm still finding that they're, the buy it now price, even if they're accepting an offer, they're well above comps for a, a particular grade. Um, and in some cases, I don't even want to bother submitting an offer because my offer would be way low. So I've been looking at auctions. And so far, I've been uh, pretty lucky in finding some auctions that I've been able to pick up some really nice cards uh, for, you know, either average comps or maybe even less in in some cases so all in all i think i'm doing uh, really well and like i said less than three months in doing this and i'm approaching 20 cards already so would love to know what you think about this 64 tops worn spawn that i picked up here and the 1964 set in general so with that that's all i have for you so until next time thanks for watching